that's actually fallen to, to us uh, has been £65. Well, I have to say, that's a sort of uh, value for money that I'm going to be looking for as the new city uh, across all of our activities in the years to come. Uh, but to be serious, um, I think first amongst those to be thanked to Johnny Wright, uh, because um, I think the quality of the prints that we've got here is very much down to their skill and their generosity, and our thanks to them first. Then, of course, uh, I think second on my list are, are those uh, who have been generous in their sponsorship, Professor <coughs> Mowbray, Keith Perch, the, the editor, particularly for his commitment to this, but also many of their staff, and particularly the photographic staff, for the work that they put in to, to make this possible. Our thanks to the Lester Mowbray, who are, are so often very generous in their support for things that happen. <laughs> And the third uh, specific sponsor I want to thank, Chris may have, have others who, who need to be mentioned today and to, who deserve thanks, but I, I also want to thank uh, Phil Gardner of uh, Lighting Designs because I think the lighting, particularly on this side, is, is, is very much down to, down to them. They've done an excellent job to, uh, to show those prints uh, Prince are at their best. Uh, so that's everybody who's made the exhibition possible and the gallery possible. There is one other person who I want to thank, and I'm not even sure whether she's here today, actually, but that is Nicola Wood for that brilliant sculpture down there. It is very absolutely stunning. Uh, I first saw your work when we were at the Summer Sunday. Uh, I was knocked out by what you did there, uh, and uh, the speaker that you're doing. You've had a bit longer to work on this one, but it really is absolutely amazing what you've produced down there. And uh, I did ask whether you sculpt, uh, whether you did sculptures in other materials. They told me you did ice. Yeah. Um, I, I understand that that was suggested as a prospect here, but our structural engineers, <laughs> for some reason not accountable, wouldn't have ice. <laughs> and I felt we'd have to make it with sand. But my goodness, have to be made do with something that's brilliant. Well done, Nicola. Um, so, uh, this is very much uh, a Lester Peebles photographic gallery. Uh, and I think that's very much to be welcomed because it's not just about, and it is about, the work of professionals, but it's also the work of people of Leicester and Leicestershire in general. And it's very evident that we have some people with great skills uh, and a great army uh, and who use their cameras very creatively in producing this uh, and it's an enormous tribute to, to, to them that we've got such high quality here but I must say I'm particularly impressed by some of the work by young people and if you haven't had a chance to look do come and look at this display here behind me which is, which is the work of I think year seven year eight students uh, and it does show that it's not just in those of us who are adults that we have skills but also in generations to come I think uh, some magnificent photographers. I hope that they'll be inspired by what they see here in general, by what they see from what other young people have produced. And I do hope that this will inspire others to recognize that when they have a camera in their hand, they have something that can produce artistic displays of very high quality, and that they do have something that they will have here in this gallery, an opportunity to share with others. So. Finally, my congratulations to all involved in this project. It is brilliant as a gallery and great news for Leicester. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>